A note about the code written in blood that we just found. It's actually randomized on every game. Sometimes the number can be rather tricky to read. Fortunately for us, though, it was pretty simple. 2323. Three, two, three. There's nothing inside the box. No, I'm wrong. There are a few hairs inside. All that for a few strands of hair? What good could that possibly do? Actually, quite a good bit of good. If we combine it with our bent needle, it's time to go fishing. and we get an elevator key. Now we can get into that locked elevator. But we've already been through the second floor, so all there really is of interest is to go down to the first floor. Lock is broken. Broken. No getting in there. But we can get in here. Oh, we get some bullets. More ammo. At least I think that was bullets I picked up at first. It kind of went by so fast, I'm not quite certain. But anyway, nice to have whatever it was, I'm sure. <laughs> That's what I get for not paying attention. Broken. Broken. Locked. Broken. And from here we can get back out to the main area of the first floor, where we first came in. But we don't need that for now. Instead, let's check out the one room we didn't yet. C2. A strange room with teddy bears in it. And a bratty little girl. Happily playing with a teddy bear. Laura? Huh? You know my name? Betty told me. That big fat blabbermouth. How do you know about Mary? What's the big deal? Why can't you just tell me? You gonna yell at me if I don't? No, I won't. sorts of strange things around here. 
I can't believe you haven't even gotten a scratch on you. Why should I? Now that's interesting. We'll talk about that in a bit, though. doing, Laura? It's further back in the desk. <laughs> Laura! What are you doing? Ha, ha. I Kids in hospitals in Silent Hill. Hill. Never a good mix. Yeah, we have to deal with the next boss. These lovely little things are apparently called flesh lips. Charming. The shotgun, however, makes fairly quick work of them. Unfortunately, we have to fight three of them. The first two at the same time. If they latch onto you, press buttons quickly to break free. Try to keep your distance from them at as often as possible. Eventually they'll go back to the ceiling and kind of tuck themselves in. Ow. Once they've done that, they're done. But then one final one moves in to attack. blasting with a shotgun and you should be fine. And if it latches on, break free. No, oh, good time for a reload there, James. Eventually things get hazy and we hear a familiar siren. That can't be good. Yeah, things are looking decidedly otherworldly. This is one of the few times in the game that marks a definite visible shift to the other world. So, just where are we? Uh, let's turn on that flashlight, shall we? We're apparently in the garden, which is a lot smaller than it looks on the map. And all our work on the map is gone. Wonderful. Yep, we're definitely starting over. Uh, health is throbbing a bit, yeah. There we go, much better. Uh, also, I guess I can put the boomstick away. And just go with my... Uh, Thwack stick. So over here we find some shotgun shells to replace all the ones we pumped into flesh lips. 
we see that there's definitely a nasty shift to the fleshy, rusty, bloody other world, and we have a save point. A refreshing pause sounds good right about now. Hospital first floor hallway. We don't seem to care that it's an alternate hospital like Harry did. But yeah, refreshing pause. So hey, who wants to explore an even darker, even creepier hospital? I don't, I don't. Unfortunately, I don't really have a choice in the matter. So, let's start exploring. We can go in the elevator, but we don't need to quite yet. We may as well explore the first floor while we're down here. The doors can be very difficult to see along the way. In general, the other world hospitals are always tricky to find your way around in. Plank at the ready. Oh, you still got a hit on me. Nurses are definitely not to be underestimated. But we get a first aid kit and a strange breaking glass sound. But it didn't really seem to be anything. Just one of those creepy atmospheric sounds they like to put in from time to time. Plank at the ready. You still got an attack on me somehow. I didn't even see you move. Uh, obviously, the <laughs> the Brookhaven nursing staff is better prepared for combat than the ones back at Alcamila. Now we get some handgun bullets and a health drink that I should probably go ahead and chug at this point. Yeah, probably so. All right. Broken, broken, and broken. So is that everything here on the first floor? Yeah, pretty much. All we can do is head for the elevator. So let's go check the second floor. Things are a little more dangerous in this particular hallway. No. Oh. Look, I prescribe a planking, doctor's orders. This is the nasty thing about the nurses in this game, is they attack in numbers, and they have range and speed on their side with their attacks. No wimpy little short-range scalpel stabs for this group. And of course James has to take forever to smack again sometimes. There now as the controller throbs. Yeah, health items are definitely ammo for melee weapons sometimes. <laughs> 